there have been all sorts of questions even back in the days of um, just passive you know, TV or uh, you know, video, just straight video, what does it mean to children's social development, social emotional development? Um, and what I found in my, my research, um, expecting to find that, oh, it's you know, horrible for so kids' social emotional development. I found that it's a little bit more textured than that and that for young children, they learn a lot by seeing modeled behavior and then kind of imitating it and, and trying it out. And so that's why the content of what comes through our screens, whether it's, um, whether it's passive, uh, just linear video or the kind of gaming um, environments that they're embedded in, that that's going to really matter to how they're um, understanding, conceptualizing um, how they should be interacting with each other. Plus, they need a lot of their own practice and experience interacting with their, their peer groups, with their parents, um, that there's a concept in the, um, in the field now, joint media engagement or joint engagement around media, which is um, becoming more and more important as, um, as children are immersed in media, where they have moments where they can kind of look up and talk with the people around them about what they're experiencing. Or after they have finished playing, have a mom or dad or teacher ask, what did you, what did you like about that? Or you, got, you seem to get kind of stuck there. What, what happened? Or if you were to design this game differently, what would you do? Or why was it that that character um, is so compelling, you know, so interesting to you? All sorts of questions that, that we should be kind of having children um, asking of each other and talking with people um, about to help them learn that interaction. It's so funny. It always struck me as intuitively wrong because boys say who don't play sports, it's like a huge part of their social connection. Like, what you know, what, what level of merry are you on, and what are you doing in Minecraft? It's like the idea, there's so much socialization around uh, right. games and game levels. Almost, it's a parallel dialogue to sports. It like works the same way. Like, what are you playing, and how are you playing, and what level, and can you help me figure out? You know, so so like it. And, and if I because just, the motivation is high to talk about absolutely. it. Absolutely. And if I could just add, in, in Minecraft, for example, and this came up actually last year at this EdTech conference, I thought it was so interesting. That some of the teachers that are using Minecraft are finding that it's a huge moment for talking about social etiquette and social norms because there's things that might happen in Minecraft where a child might um, create um, a bridge that somehow knocks over somebody else's created, you know, castle, and um, and they need to actually talk about that together. Like why, you know, in, in an online space, that's still something someone's created. We need to kind of back up and talk about why that's not okay. You should be talking to each other about what you're building first and, and why, and can you kind of cooperate and, and work together on it. And the, you hear these kinds of conversations actually when some children are using um, things like Minecraft and they have Skype going at the same time, and you'll hear them talking to each other about no 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 don't better not put that block there and and they but, and again they need some I think sometimes mentorship to figure out how to have those conversations and and, and interact in um, kind of more socially positive ways with each other but that we just can't forget that there is interaction happening in both the online mm -hmm. and the offline realm.